at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look oh it's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday, Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo- I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Have, hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is whole mastery. And the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 44, NASDAQ up 97, S&P's up 21. Percentage wise out here, folks, you get the NASDAQ NDX 100 dragging the markets higher. They, that NASDAQ is up 1.1%. You get the S&P's up 7 tenths of 1%, and the Dow Industrials is up 1 tenth of 1%. Gold contract, gold contract at three dollars and ninety cents trading at fourteen eighteen an ounce. Silver down two cents, sixteen dollars thirty nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up twenty seven cents trading fifty six dollars twenty nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds you get the ten year flat one twenty seven oh eight. Thirty year up four ticks one fifty four fourteen. Both notes as well as bonds folks a rejected lower price tremendously lighter volume they continue to want higher price lower yield king dollar king dollar up 198 ticks trade 97750 king dollar is over the high of may which is 97715 the euro is at 111 to 1 us dollar the yen is trading out here at 108.70 and the pound is at 123.85 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we take a look at the spy. What you're going to see out here, folks? We're trading the three hundred two, oh six, three hundred three is the ABC structure on the way up, and I do expect we're going to get up into that level. You're up two dollars today, so you're right next to it right now. Um, and uh, the S and P five hundred E minis. We are trading right now at a price point of 3,027, and 3,055 is your A to B equals C to D. Now, these are multiple ABC structures. What's going to be pretty wild watching this thing shake out is that you're, you're right next to the ABC structure on the way up right now. And next week, okay, we have the Fed meeting as well as window dressing. So I suspect the way that this is trading right now that you're going to do more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way up. That's how this thing seems to be shaking out, because I suspect the... Um, it, it, we'll see where it shakes out. We, we're, we're up here at light volume right now, but the way this is just trading right now, we're right next to the first ABC structure, and just coming into the Fed, the Fed may be, may be the catalyst. Actually, that's right. Hold it one second. Because, you know what? The end of the month... Yeah, by next Friday, we could be coming downtown, because the end of the month is this Wednesday. So the Fed meeting is uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So Wednesday, 2 o'clock, um, you know, we'll see where the Fed, Federal Reserve is going to go. <coughs> Gold contract. Gold contract up $3.70, $14.18. Silver, uh, $16.38. And we go over to that gold contract. What you're looking at in gold it refuses to back down. Uh, bottom line, still in the same consolidation. There are 291,000 contracts. That's good contract volume. You take this, we put it at the end of the... A week, bottom line, you get a weekly, you get a sideways move out here. We take this and we put it on a monthly, and bottom line is that you get a higher high on a monthly. Silver, silver market out here. We take a look at the silver market, S S I U 9 Silver right now trading 78,000 contracts. Um, 
also hanging at the highs up here. So this is quite a run the last two weeks. We've gone from 1495 up to this uh, 1645. Notes and bonds just refuse to back down. Uh, bottom line is that we have out here in the note and bond market out here today is that uh, you got to a lower low than yesterday. You've rejected it with lighter volume. You're laying flat. This is saying that the note and bond market still wants higher price, lower yield. Right now, we are trading at 2.07. King dollar. Here's the story out here, folks. King dollar. And this is, we get, we get a technical story as well as a fundamental story. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this shake out. So we take a look at king dollar and what we had is this. King dollar, the last high in king dollar was May 23rd. That high is 97.715. We're over that high. So when you get over the high, guess what? You can go a lot higher, folks. Uh, now, that being said, you're over that high with 11,271 contracts. Um, you know, I suspect that we're not going to close under the 97,715. Now, the reason I'm saying that is that what happens to the dollar index, folks, the dollar index is very, at, very active from 8.30 in the morning to about 10.30, 11. Slows down after that. Why? Because you're dealing uh, the the aspect of the dollar index in general, 60% of it is the euro. So when you see the European markets basically closing down, you know, 11 o'clock our time is uh, 7, uh, 8 o'clock at night, and euro, you just see it slowing down. Um, that being said, now, so the, the technical aspect of it is, guess what? You close over it, you can go higher. The fundamental aspect of it is going to get really interesting. So let me put this up. I'm going to put this up intraday. And what you're going to see out here is that your first lunge intraday uh, getting over this level. Get rid of that right there. Come on, move up there. There we go. Which, there we go. The first lunge up there, yeah, there it is. It's at 10.20 this morning. And what you're going to see is that that's when Larry Kudlow had come out and said that the administration at this particular time was not going to get involved in the intervention of the dollar. Now, that itself was news, okay, because the, the bottom line is that um, the administrations in general, uh, it's very unusual that you either buy or sell U.S. dollars. Well, that being said, as the day went on, guess what? All these news uh, folks were all over, like, okay, so what's really happening here? So... Uh, what you had is this. So far, Trump has rejected aggressive move against the weak U.S. dollar. Uh, what we had out here is that, uh, let's see, on Monday, the decision came earlier this week at a White House meeting focused on trade. Um, a part of the agenda included a discussion of Trump's concern about the impact of the strong dollar. Uh, during the meeting, now this is, this is the cool part of it, too. During the meeting, um, uh, which the White House didn't include on Trump's public schedule, officials weighed proposals to publicly talk down the dollar's value or weaken the greenback by intervening currency markets using the Treasury's $94 billion exchange stabilization fund. Uh, they asked not to be identified. We'll get into this in a second because let me tell you something, man. Uh, for currency traders, folks, they got to be basically on edge right now. Uh, because you, you can say one thing, but guess what? When this is on the table, now the dollar's on the table for intervention. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.